number 242. In the PBA three-point shootout contest, the committee decided to give a prize in the following manner. A prize of 1 peso for the first basket made, 2 pesos for the second, 4 pesos for the third, 8 pesos for the fourth, and so on. If the contestant wants to win a prize of no less than 1 million pesos, what is the minimum number of baskets to be converted? So meron tayong geometric progression dito. Kasi every time na makakashoot yung PBA player, mo-multiply ng 2 yung price niya. So from 1 peso, naging 2 pesos, 4 pesos, 8 pesos, and so on. Tapos ang gusto niya, manalo siya ng at least 1 million pesos. So dapat yung SN natin is equal to approximately 1 million pesos. At ang hinahanap dito, what is the minimum number of baskets to be converted? O ilang beses dapat siya makashoot? So, N ang hinahanap natin dito. So, gagamitin ulit natin yung formula ng sum of geometric progression. So, SN is equal to G1 times 1 minus R raised to N divided by 1 minus R. So, yung SN natin ay 1 million pesos. 1 million is equal to yung G1 natin or first term ay 1 times 1 minus yung common ratio natin 2 kasi multiply siya ng 2 every time so 2 raised to n divided by 1 minus r or 1 minus 2 so simplify na natin itong mga to ito magiging negative 1 tapos ilipat natin sa kabila so, magiging negative 1 million is equal to 1 minus 2 raised to n. So, pag nilipat natin yung 1 sa kabila, magiging negative 1 million 1. So, tatanggal na yung 1. Tapos, tanggalin na rin natin yung negative. Multiply natin both sides ng negative 1. So, pwede mo natin i-shift solve or manumanuhin natin na ilogaritam. So, i-logaritam natin both sides. Tapos yung n, yung exponent niya, pwede mo nang ilipat dito. Pwede mo nang i-multiply sa logaritam niya. So, masasolve na natin yung n kapag dinivide natin both sides by logaritam of 2. So, matatanggal yung log 2 dito, n na lang matitira. So, divide natin logaritm of 1 million or 10 raised to 6 divided by logaritm of 2 is equal to 19.93 so we round up natin to so 19.93 approximately 20 baskets yung kailangan nya so this sa choices letter e ang tamang sagot number 243 in a benefit show, a number of wealthy men agreed that the first one to arrive would pay 10 centavos to enter, and each later arrive would pay twice as much as the preceding man. The total amount collected from all of them was 104,857.50. How many wealthy men paid? So dito magkakaroon tayo ng geometric progression, kasi every time, multiply ng 2 yung binabayad ng taong papasok. So, from 10 centavos, or 0 0.10, which is yung G1 natin, na multiply siya ng 2. Tapos yung total amount collected, or yung SN natin, is equal to 104,857.5. So, hinahanap natin dito kung ilang tao daw yung nagbayad, or yung N natin. So, gamitin natin yung formula ng sum of geometric progression. Sn is equal to G1 times 1 minus R raised to N divided by 1 minus R. So, yung Sn natin, which is 104,857.5, is equal to, yung G1 natin ay 0 0.1 times 1 minus R raised to n divided by 1 minus 2 so 
parang kanina, i-multiply na natin yung negative 1 sa kabila. So, ito maging negative 104, 857.5. Tapos, i-divide na rin natin yung 0.1 dito. 0.1. It's equal to 1 minus 2 raised to n. So, pag dinivide mo to ng 0.1, dilipat lang yung decimal point. So, ito, matatimes na to ng 10. So, erase natin to. So, yung decimal point, dilipat lang dito ng isang beses. So, ngayon, meron na tayong 1,048,575. Tapos, pag nilipat mo yung 1 dito sa kabila, mga minus 1. So, magiging 6 to. So, meron na tayong 1,048,576 is equal to negative 2. So, tanggalin na rin natin yung negative. Ngayon, ilogaritam natin ulit both sides log, log. Tapos yung n, pwede mo na i-multiply dun sa logaritam niya. So, ilagay natin yung n dito. So, pag dinivide natin both sides by logaritam of 2, tanggalin na natin yung positive. Ang may iwan na lang dito ay yung n. So, yung value ng n natin is equal to logaritam of 1,048,576 divided by logaritam of 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 20. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. Number 244. A man mailed 10 chain letters to 10 of his friends with a request to continue by sending a similar letter to each of their 10 friends. If this continue for 6 sets of letters, and if all responded, how much will Philippine Postal Office earn if minimum postage costs 4 pesos per letter? So nasimula tayo sa 1 month with 10 chain letters. So yung first term natin or G1 is 10. At for every friend na makakareceive ng letter, magsesend din siya ng 10 letters to 10 of his friends. So, yung common ratio natin is equal to 10. Kasi namamultiply siya ng 10 every time. Tapos, sabi dito, if this continues for 6 sets of letters, so, ibig sabihin yung n natin is equal to 6. Ang hinahanap natin, how much will Philippine Postal Office earn? So, una, kailangan isolve muna natin kung ilan yung total letters na nasend, or SN. Ito yung total letters. So, yung SN natin, or S6, is equal to yung G1 natin, which is 10, times the quantity, 1 minus R. Yung R natin ay 10, raised to yung N natin ay 6, divided by 1 minus 10. So, 1 minus 10 raised to 6, divided by negative 9. times 10. So, ito yung S6 natin. Ito yung total number of letters na nasend. So, para makuha naman natin yung earnings ng Philippine Postal Office, kailangan lang natin i-multiply ng 4 pesos per letter. So, times 4 lang to. So, yung total earnings nila ay 4,444,440 which is letter D. So, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 245, determine the sum of the infinite series. So, eto, meron tayong geometric series. Kasi every term, na-multiply siya ng 1 third. So, 1 third naging 1 9 naging 1 over 27. So, itong infinite series, meron siyang formula. So, yung sum of infinite series is equal to G1 over 1 minus R. So, ganun lang kasimple. Itong sum of infinite series, applicable lang to kapag yung common ratio natin or yung R natin ay fraction. So, saan ba galing tong formula na to? Galing din to sa formula ng sum of geometric series na ordinary. Sn is equal to G1 times 1 minus R raised to N divided by 1 minus R. So, dito, since yung N natin ay infinite, 
S infinity is equal to G1 times 1 minus R raised to infinity divided by 1 minus R. So kapag yung common ratio natin or yung R natin ay fraction, for example, 1 half. So sa tingin mo, anong mangyayari sa 1 half? Kapag ni-raise mo sa sobrang laking number. For example, ni-raise mo to ng 100. So try natin. 1 half or 0.5 raised to 100. So ito na lang yung value niya. 7.8 times 10 raised to negative 31. So sobrang liit. So imagine kapag ni-raise mo to sa infinity. Kapag sobrang laking number. Pag ni-raise mo to sa infinity, magiging 0 yan. Habang papalaki na papalaki yung exponent niya, palit ng palit yung value niya. Hanggang sa maging 0 na lang siya. So ibig sabihin, yung r raised to infinity natin dito ay 0. So palitan na natin ito ng 0. Kasi yung fraction na raised to infinity, so naging 0 na yan. So ngayon, may kita mo yung sum of infinite series natin is equal to 1 minus 0, 1 lang yan. So multiply mo na yung g. Maging g1 divided by 1 minus r. So, ganyan lang kasimple. Doon na derive yung sum of infinite series natin na formula. So, i-memorize mo na to. Or kahit hindi mo na kailangan i-memorize. Basta alam mo yung concept na kapag yung common ratio ay fraction at ni-raise mo sa infinity maging zero, kaya mo kaya mo i-derive yan. So, ngayon isolve natin yung problem gamit yung formula na to. So, ang kailangan lang natin para makuha natin yung sum of infinite series ay yung G1 at yung common ratio. Since alam na natin yung G1 which is 1 third at yung common ratio which is 1 third din. So yung S infinity natin is equal to 1 third divided by 1 minus 1 third equals 1 third divided by 1 minus 1 third ay 2 thirds. So makakansal na yung 3. So ang sagot natin ay 1 half. So, dun sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 246. Under favorable condition, a single bacteria divided into two about every 20 minutes. If the same rate of division is maintained for 10 hours, how many organisms is produced from a single cell? So, initially, meron tayong isang cell. Tapos, Every 20 minutes daw, na-multiply siya ng 2. So, yung common ratio natin is equal to 2. At sabi dito, nadodoble daw siya for every 20 minutes. If the same rate is maintained for 10 hours, so 10 hours, ilang 20 minutes ang nasa 10 hours. So, i-convert natin to sa minutes, tapos i-divide natin ng 20 minutes. So, times 60 minutes per hour. So, meron tayong 600 minutes dun sa 10 hours na yun. Tapos, silang 20 minutes ang nasa 600. So, i-divide natin ng 20 minutes to. So, 600 divided by 20 is equal to 30. So, meron tayong 30 na 20 minutes. So, ibig sabihin, madadoble yung single cell natin 30 times. So, i-multiply natin to ng 2 raised to 30. Ito yung magiging total number of organisms natin. So, gawin natin yan. So, 1 times 2 raised to 30. So, bale, 1 billion, 73 million, 741,824. So, saan dito yung may billion? So, million, billion. So, letters yan ang tamang sagot.